said there. We're going to deal with the more serious matters other than this emotional outburst. No, in fact, Vice Chair, I was going to outburst. say just like uh, no, 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 Omar, no, 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 Omar, no, 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 Omar, Omar, Omar. That's okay. Omar, okay. Omar. Fair enough. Fair enough. I was only saying, I was only saying, just like we protected Honorable Eugene from a very lethal attack by a stakeholder, we must equal, equally protect uh, Honorable Chebukati, Commissioner Chebukati, from unwarranted attacks since he's not here to defend himself. Fair enough, fair enough, Co Chair. Let me say this: if we can get back to the issues, it was so nice to listen to the two commissioners who are practically in exile, whatever the circumstances, because they fear for their lives. Um, some of the clarifications we'll probably get from your colleagues. But the important thing is you stick to your guns and you say those results were not proper on account, among other things, of the absence of Form 34C. We heard that from Commissioner Wanderi. Um, that that is what actually should have been um, uh, announced. And, and even then, and I think actually, come to think of it, uh, these commissioners have afforded us an opportunity as a committee to even do a, an audit, come to think of it. It's part of a serious auditing we are doing. So we really owe it to them. We will do the Chubukati matter after this, and I think that should bring closure since he's not here for reasons best known to himself. But Form 34C, uh, up to today, the Commission has never actually published in the, if I understand it correctly, has never published in the official Kenya Gazette uh, the results in accordance with the 290 constituencies plus one constituents in the diaspora. Is that correct, Commissioner Wanderi? Or indeed, the Vice Chair? And, and uh, what we have is a tabulation from the counties in contravention of what the law says. Uh, that was my number one question. Um, Honorable Eugene has elaborated very strongly on the other issues. When there was, um, for more than seven hours, this we also had, there was a blackout at Bombers. Um, and therefore, the 26 constituencies were then not announced. The, the understanding was uh, that uh, Professor Goulier was to announce the remaining uh, 26, perhaps with the authority of the chair. Uh, what really happened at Bombers? We want to know, because we have heard that uh, according to others that there should be a commission. In fact, that is public knowledge because uh, Chabukata has written an open letter and he says there should be a commission of inquiry to establish what exactly happened at Bombers. What would you say really happened which, which gave rise to the confusion? Um, and then, of course, the Supreme Court in its ruling also said that, and I wanted your comment on the Secretariat itself, even as presently constituted. Would you recommend that this committee looks at the work, the composition, the competencies, the heads of those other um, uh, directory, directory, I mean directorships or directorates? And by the way, were you guys present? I'm sorry, that's unparliamentary. The four of you. Did you have any idea whatsoever on the printing? And did any of you go for to inspect the printing by this Greek company, which had won? One day you are part of the you were part of the procurement. Indeed, that was your responsibility. What would you advise the committee with regard to transparency when it comes to printing of election materials? Because we also have it on record that some commission materials were, were apprehended at the airport. So at that point, you're all acting together. Was it the negligence on the part of the commission as it then was? Yeah, because uh, we, we have the legal position, which is very clear, the ruling by the Supreme Court. Nobody's contesting that. But we have the issue of legitimacy. 
which is part of the reason I think this committee was constituted. We want your comments because uh, the Supreme Court said that well, the, what Chebukata had formed, the, the, that team, which was advising him as a chair, which gave him the results to announce, even the Supreme Court in his ruling, in his finding, announced that, I mean, they were able to pro pronounce themselves on that as an illegal, an illegal group. So, what would you say uh, to all this? And I want to urge that we desist from emotions and emotional outbursts even between the commissioners, because it's beautiful. We are doing the audit. We must continue to thank the media. I'm quite sure this is one subject think, that is uh, of great interest to the country. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that is... Uh, yeah. It's Thank good. You. Uh, they are emotional outbursts. People Can are I... protesting where they, somebody's character. No, is but we're dealing with lives of Kenyans. We have to, when, okay. when you want to get uh, a pro proper also, cure. Uh, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let me just say, and go for his character. One